How are you doing, you guys over there? I hope you're doing great. Myself, I'm doing fine. And I know we are at the heart of the DV lottery interviews. And I saw it good that I come back to clarify on this, especially for you who are preparing for the interview. This is a summary of the many videos that I've been doing before and it's regarding the preparation for the DV lottery interview. Therefore, if you are a DV selectee and you are waiting for your interview, of course, first of all, you'll have to receive the second notification letter after you have become current and your DS-260 form has been processed. This video specifically targets after you have received your second notification letter. And for you who don't know or who are new, the second notification letter is the appointment letter to your DV lottery interview. So after you have gotten this second notification letter, there are basically four things that you should do so to say and they are very important in this dv program for your success one immediately you get your second notification letter you have to read through it and once you read through it you will realize that there is a link provided within the body of the letter and that link is very important and it's meant for you. You should click on that link and it will direct you to the page that provides you with what you are required to do or the steps that you should follow after that letter. And in earlier videos, I have discussed into details the steps that you are supposed to take, but I want to summarize on this. This is to clarify for all of you who are preparing for this interview. After you have clicked the link and you visited that page, the next thing that you are supposed to do that is very important is you are supposed to visit your specific interview location, the embassy that you are to take your interview from. That's what you're supposed to do. And once you get to that embassy page you'll find the specifications for you as the dv lottery winner getting ready to the interview and three things normally follow here the first thing is that you have to register for your interview appointment and that majority forget you have to register for your interview appointment. It's important to note this, that not all embassies require you to register. But if you look closely, majority of the embassies will require you to register for the interview appointment. And therefore, it's very important that you visit your exact or your specific embassy to know this. If you are required to register for the interview appointment, you will find it there and you have to do it. The second thing, very important that you are supposed to do, and this also majority forget, is you are supposed to register for a delivery service and this is depending on the embassy again not all embassies will require you to register for the courier services for the delivery of your passport remember if your interview goes successful the passport document will have to remain behind with the embassy for them to process your visa and stamp the visa on your passports and after they do so they need to send the passport back to you 
and that is the reason as to why you're supposed to register for the courier services for the delivery of your passports. Some embassy will require you to come back to the embassy to receive your passports. And that's why I'm saying it's important that you visit your specific embassy page to know the details. If you are required to book a courier service for the delivery, then you ought to do so. The third thing that you're supposed to do is you're supposed to book for your examination appointment. Immediately you get your second notification letter. And why so? Because you only have a short period of time, a short window in between the second notification letter and the interview appointment date. And within this short time, you are supposed to have undergone the medical examination at the specified medical center. So you are supposed to act immediately, contact the medical center, the medical facility that has been specified by your embassy and schedule a date for the medical examination. And you should do as quickly as possible because you might find the medical facility jammed with a queue of people attending the medical examination for various visas. So do it and act quickly for you to get an opportunity for the medical examination before the interview date. The other thing for some countries, you will be required to certify your secondary education. What do I mean? You're supposed to register with the examining body in your region for them to transfer a certified document proof of your high school diploma. Some countries need so. Therefore, if you visit your embassy page, you'll find these specifications, whether you are needed to register with the examination body to get the certified document. And if they need that, you have to follow that. Therefore, those are the basic and the very important steps immediately you get your second notification letter. I've summarized it up for you so that if you're waiting for your second notification letter, you should be knowing this. So get ready for this. I hope guys have cleared it out and if so, please consider supporting me by subscribing and also liking the video. And let's meet in the next video.